Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World Magazine. I'm aboard the Playcraft Extreme 2700 Twin Console with Joe Doris, the vice president of Playcraft. Hey, Alan, Joe? Joe Doris, nice to meet you. Well, I'll tell you, this is a really hot look, and I know that uh, if it's anything like the other Playcrafts I've been on, it also goes fast as well as looks hot. Uh, how do you get your performance out of your boats? Absolutely. What we're trying to focus on is a NASCAR theme of, of pontoon boats. Um, and where we actually achieve that is in our unique design on the pontoons with the uh, racer fans underneath the bottom. Um, it's got a concave design and that's what gives you the superb lift that we get. So you get a lot of speed out of your boats and good handling as well, I bet. That, absolutely. A lot of speed and uh, high horsepower on the outboards and also on the stern drive versions. Well, I love the hot look here in the interior and my favorite thing of this uh, boat right here is this little baby. That's a nice feature, isn't it? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, how many of these do we have in the boat? We've got uh, four incliners total on this boat. Uh, this boat's set up with a twin console version. Um, and the standard design would be a side sofa up the, uh, up the side, the port side, um, and you'll pick up another incliner there. Fantastic. Let's take a look at the cockpit and see what we have. Sure. Great. Joe, this is a great look for the helm. Is this a new setup for you guys? This is something we've actually been doing for quite some time. You know, we're a custom boat manufacturer, so it's really up to the customer. If they want to change their bezels to, to color coordinate with their boat, that's definitely an option for them. Well, I know we have a Suzuki 300 on the, on the back here, and we have the uh, Suzuki gauges here too, right? Right, absolutely. And uh, you can take those screens and design them how you want to. Um, so very customer you know, friendly as far as setting it up, how, what's going to work the best for their application. Well, I know these are really intelligent gauges. I, we were playing around with it, and we could see the gallons per hour and uh, anything you want to know about what's going on with the engine, you could see it. Right, right. And I noticed we have the electronic uh, Suzuki uh, shifter, too, which is really nice. That's really nice, uh, really easy. Um, you don't have to fight that uh, control box like you used to. Uh, so that's a, that's a nice design. Well, I'll tell you what, once you go away from the manual cable to the electronic shifter, you'll never want to go back. That's exactly sure. right. I agree. But, uh, Great setup. We got loads of storage on this boat too, don't we? Right, absolutely. Let's loads, take... of, loads of storage. We got a built-in um, in-tune ski locker. Be right here in the uh, in the center compartment. Um, and also on this boat, we put an in-tune anchor locker. Nice. So you have two different storages. You have storage underneath the uh, the seats that do not have incliners on them. So good place to put your life jackets or or everyday items, snacks, and things like that. Well, I'll tell you where, every, everywhere I go on this boat, I can see speakers, uh, including these two gigantic subwoofers here. Uh, what's this uh, Clarion speaker put out here? Right. We've got a total of 720 watts on this with the two subs. Um, puts out a nice, nice sound. We were jamming with it earlier. It's uh, pretty impressive. Yes, it is. Let's go back to the stern and see what we have. Probably the, the most unique feature on, um, on Playcraft is our patented built-in rear entry step. Makes it real easy coming in and out of the water. Um, you know, once people has, has this, um, where you don't have ladders to mess with and things like that, um, they'll never go back to anything else. I've never seen this on any other pontoon. Yeah. It's a great feature. Absolutely. I love the powder coated rails you have here too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Powder coated rail system on, uh, on this boat, any color in the rainbow. We also do our pontoons if somebody wants. Mm -hmm. And what do we have underneath the swim, uh, the sun got, pad back Yep. Here? You got your rear sun deck tanning area, but this actually comes up so you've got access to your to your engine if you need back here, your hydraulics, your battery system over here on the starboard side, and you have a huge storage compartment over on the port side. Wow. With a built in place for your snack table and also your pedestal. Lots of room. Well, that's great. Well, Joe, thanks a lot for showing me around. Appreciate you bet. It. Thanks a lot, Alan. Enjoyed it. Well, we just finished testing the Playcraft Extreme 2700 Twin Console. And not only does this boat look hot, but it also goes really well. One thing I like about their styling is you can get this boat in any color scheme you want to. They're practically a custom boat builder. So any way you want it, you can get it. And I'll tell you what, I was really impressed not only with the style, but with the performance. We got on plane and uh, very little bow rise in this boat. It was really hard to tell when we got on plane, but it, it rolled over about 3.2 seconds. Uh, zero to 30, we were using the GPS, so we probably uh, did it faster than the time, but we got 7.5 seconds on that. Top speed with the Suzuki 300 four-stroke was 48.2 miles an hour, which is really good for a 27-foot luxury pontoon boat like this. 
One thing I really liked about this boat is how it, how it carves turns. Unlike a lot of pontoons that lean uh, to the outside when you go into a turn, this one actually leans in a bit, little bit like a uh, uh, V-hulled uh, fiberglass boat. It's pretty level though, it doesn't lean in much, but man, it'll really carve a turn well. For more information on the Playcraft Extreme 2700 Twin Console and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones and we'll see you out on the water.